Alright, hey guys, today I'm doing a tutorial on After Effects Element 3D and Element 3D text. So we're going to be making some advanced text and some really cool text. Then we're going to animate it and it's going to look really nice in the end. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our text. And I know sometimes it can be hard to find a good text for Element 3D, so in case you're looking and you can't find any, I'm going to leave this text right here in the description. It looks really nice in Element 3D, and if you want, you can just download it and follow along with the video. So once we have that, we're going to create a new solid. and from our solid we're gonna find element and drag it into there so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go under custom layers custom text and mask and we're gonna find our text close that up and jump into scene setup in here we're gonna set up our text we're gonna make it look nice and we're going to customize it. So first thing you're going to do is hit extrude and your text will appear. The first thing I like to do is flip it on the top and then under extrude you're going to find bevel oh wait what does that say? bevel scale and we're going to scale that down a bit and that will make your text look a bit nicer Okay, after we do that, go under Presets, Pro Shaders, Locate Metal. And really quick, I'm going to show you guys how to make super nice textured or galaxy or whatever you want text. So you're going to grab this right here, this texture, and you're going to drag and drop it into here. And you'll get this blue, bronze sort of color texture. So this one right here. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go under extrusion model we're going to find our material and we're going to change the reflectivity so grab that okay, one second. so click that up there and then locate whatever texture you're planning on using so I have a bunch of galaxy textures right here I'm going to use this outer space galaxy this looks nice and this is the really quick, really easy way to get nice textured uh, 3D text. Um, just in case your image doesn't fit properly, play around with UV repeat and UV offset. And um, once you do that, you'll be able to fix it. Okay, so that's how to do really nice uh, galaxy text. Now I'm just going to change back into a metal. So maybe this one. and we're gonna go animate our text alright so let's animate our text and we're gonna make it look really cool now and yeah let's jump straight into it so go under group 1 particle look find multi object enable after that we're gonna keyframe rotation random displays x displays Oops. close group 1 jump under animation engine enable keyframe animation so you'll end up with four keyframes and we're gonna find one second where's my second? One, two. so animation is keyframe from 100 to 0 so we're just gonna go right to the beginning and change that to 100 and what animation does is it brings out your text like so and it looks pretty cool but there's actually a lot of other stuff you can do to customize animation that a lot of people actually don't know about so I'm gonna go over that really quick so first thing is smoothness and this controls how the pieces will move out so if I were to change it to 75 all the pieces would move out like sort of together they wouldn't come out individually so they'd come out like that 
if I change this to say 25, the pieces will all come out individually. This is, each piece will come out by itself. So I like to keep 50 as a basis, but you can always change to 55 or maybe 45 and play around with that. Just, just another way you can customize your text. Okay, so after that, we're going to go over animation type. So not only can you bring out the text sort of one by one in this sort of way, changing it to uniform will bring the text out, basically scale it, so the text will come out all at once. Radial will bring it the out, the outer letter letters will come out first and then to the inner ones. Random and the other one are just as they say, random. Okay, so after that, I wanted to say that when you are using animation, change your ease type to ease in, and that will make um, that will make this smoother. I'm gonna switch back to yeah, yeah. We're gonna switch back to directional. All right, so. Also, backwards and forwards will basically reverse what your text is doing. So this will drag your text back in rather than pull it out. And we're going to put that back to forward. So I'm just introducing you to this so you guys can play around and just know that you have a lot of options on how you animate your text. Um, you don't always have to be limited to this one, one way of animating your text. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to use our other keyframes, so when we pull this up, pull this up, let's see, yeah, that's probably it. Now we're going to easy ease, easy ease the keyframes, jump into the graph editor, hit this to bring it like this. And we only want to bring it a little, 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 little bit. Like that. And let's just preview it. So, basically what this does is it'll rotate our text. And I find that this is, makes Element 3D text look really nice when you have it rotating. So, keep... So graphing it like this will just have it go slightly slower at the beginning and speed up a bit at the end. That's just what this sort of graph is for. All right, so we have that keyframed. Now we're going to keyframe. Um, this displace, displace, uh, X displace, I think. Yeah, that's what we're gonna keep here. So I've seen this, and a couple people when they've been editing have used this. And basically, what it'll do is, as your text progresses, it'll pull it apart. It's just another way to make your text look look nice and smooth and stuff. So right now our text looks like this, which is pretty nice. So you can always keep, oh wait, we actually don't need that because this, these two do the exact same thing. They'll both pull, pull out, so there's no need to have that keyframe. All right, so hopefully you guys learned something. Okay, wait, not yet, not yet. Last minute, last minute, we're gonna add some stuff in. So drop shadow is a sapphire plugin that looks really nice with element 3d uh, so it'll just add a shadow to your text and then all you have to do is pull out the shadow blur create a shadow
All right, guys, this is how I do Element 3D text. And if you have any questions or concerns or anything at all, please leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. And if you have any other ideas for tutorials or anything like that, leave a comment.